Hey all, today we're looking at this. This is a Wi-Fi LoRa 32 V4 from Helltech, or as I'll just call it, a Helltech V4. Let's open it up. Inside we have the LoRa board right here. And underneath we have a few accessories as well as a little antenna. So that's that, that's everything that's in the package. Zoom in a bit closer. There's the Helltech V4. And now we'll see if it fits into any of the existing cases that I have. First things first, this is the dinky little Helltech case for my V3. And I can tell you right now it's not gonna fit because of these. These are battery pins and yeah, it just, they won't go in, it won't fit. So this isn't going to work. So we're gonna try a different case. Okay, so here's my node. Okay, so this is my primary repeater node. We'll just open that up and we'll see if we can put this inside. Okay, so there's a Helltech V3. We'll just pop out that, remove that, and we'll see if this fits okay. Okay, that, that seems to fit just fine. We're going to put the antenna on. All right, snap that on. All right, we slide that in. Now we just drop this on, just like that. We just tighten everything up. Put the antenna back on. Here's the Helltech V3, we'll put that away. Should be able to power this on. Excellent. All right, so that's the default firmware. I'm gonna go put mesh core on this right now. Okay, so we're gonna flash the mesh core firmware and that's pretty simple. We just go to the mesh core website, go to the web flasher and we pick Helltech V4. And this is going to be a repeater. So we're gonna click repeater, latest firmware and we're gonna erase the device and we're gonna press flash and you're going to pick this device right here and connect. All right, and it's been flashed and you can see here it's resetting and then you can configure it via USB once it's started. I find generally the USB configure doesn't really work right until you close the previous tab. So close the previous tab and then connect. It's been stuck and please wait for a while. Restarted it. Okay, there we go. So I just need to reset it and then I was able to connect to the mesh core. So that was a bit weird, but yeah, we can see here it said as a repeater. We can see the date, the firmware version, public key, which I'll blur out uh, and Helltech repeater. You set the, all the configuration stuff for your region. I am in Australia, so I do that. And then you configure all the other stuff. And that's about it for setting this guy up as a repeater. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you're interested in picking up a Helltech V4 and one of these cases, I'll put some affiliate links in the description below. And if you're interested in more mesh core or mesh tastic stuff, I plan to upload some things on my main channel and there might be some links in the cards around this video around there. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.